Hey, what is up, guys? So, you are watching Samaji YouTube channel, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can make blurbs like these right over here in DB Builder. So, you need to guess what is amazing here. So, the amazing thing here is these buttons. As you can see, the buttons in the blurb module, so it is not by default in the DB Builder. So this is a technique by which we can put one module in another using short codes in the DB Builder. Yeah, it is a very great way to build websites. So one more example I have to show you is this accordion module. I think the name was correct. So we have this blur module in this as you can see it is kind of look that bad uh, i don't like it but uh, it is uh, just an example to show you that we can do that as well so this is right over here i am in the visual builder and if you see right over here this is a short code and the button is in as you can see if i remove that the button removed and if i go into the settings and get this short code from here and now go into settings again and paste that here and the button will be gained again so as you can see button so if I save it so you can see right over here it looks like this in the visual builder but it looks uh, sorry in the action but uh, in the visual builder it doesn't look that cool as you can see it is that bad yeah so if you go into the actions it will be look amazing as you can see if I remove this short code from here so it will be gone but that's an amazing way to make websites with DV so let's just start and let's get it so first of all we need to go into plugins and add new but I have already installed it so if I go into install plugin here I have this DV supreme module and now going to DV supreme enable these shortcut options from here and click on save changes so changes are saved so if uh, I go into my visual builder here I have this and add a module so you can add any kind of module so let me add here a button and here it is so you can design it and then after that I have already a button in my library so if I quickly add from the library like this as you can see a button so if you when you design your button you need to click on this save to library and put a layout name here and then simply click on save to library so it's saved now so you can simply click on the save button but it is right over here we need to put it into, into this blur module so I have deleted that from here now you can you can do something like go to library and then here I have this button tool which we have recently added to this library and get this short code from here now go to your visual builder go to settings and paste that short code by adding two spaces and put it here now it's processing as you can see okay now button is seen here okay so so I have designed the blur module a little bit and click on the save button so if I go into the action and exit the visual builder it will look like this as you can see button right over here so it looks like this in this visual builder but in action it looks this okay so I don't know why I don't know why it is this in this visual builder but uh, it looks amazing in this action okay so that's uh, the example and amazing so it looks very nice and I like it you no know, it's amazing it's amazing a way to build awesome websites with DV and uh, yeah it is very very great so let's just add a, a slider here and go into settings and I, I can simply remove this content from here and if I get this blurb short code from here like that and here I can simply paste that and it's processing so let me remove this title from here as you can see 
now let me remove this button from here and then uh, make it transparent so it will be gone like that and now as you can see we have the blurb in the slider so let me do that for the second one as well by copy item styles and paste item styles and if I go into settings and remove this content and paste okay so it saves a lot of time okay and okay again as you can see we have these blur modules in the slider and if I save it and now if I refresh the page here we go this slider with this blur module and it is amazing you know it's just an example to show you so guys that's all in this video hope you guys have enjoyed this so guys thanks for watching and also subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video and yeah peace